What's going on, YouTube? Two-way gang is Mr. I Like Guns, and I just want to do an unboxing slash review of my new Beretta 92X RDO. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, thumbs up the video. It'll really help out a lot. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers, and it'll really be much appreciated. Okay, first we're gonna get into this hard case, which is pretty nice considering most gun manufacturers, well, a lot of them package their, you know, their guns in cardboard boxes. So this is a plus. Got you two spots for your cable locks or pad locks or whatever you wanna put on it. But not too much worried about the case. Let's see what's inside. Got a Beretta. Cable lock. Metguard magazine, so you know it's good quality, and it is 18 rounds. Extra grip panel, which is nice. Comes with an extra grip panel. Got some screws for your grip panel. Let's see what's back here. A warranty guide. Owner's manual. And a free gift worth $250. Good plus. So that's real nice. Go ahead and cover this back up. And we have, of course, what we all came to see, or what you all came to see, because I've already looked at this, of course, because, you know, they show you the gun and everything when you buy it, and, and I've had it for about two days, so I've did a little loving on it. Got your pistol. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Beretta 92X, star of the show, and this is the RDO, which stands for Red Dot Optic. And it is safe and clear. Hadn't even loaded the magazine. Nothing in the chamber. What can I say? Good old Beretta 92 or M9, whatever you want to call it. This gun has served in the military, the U.S. military, the Army for like 40 years or so, somewhere around there. And still serving in some other branches of the military and it serves in a lot of other militaries around the world but yeah this is a iconic gun in my opinion it's been in hundreds of movies die hard lethal weapon tv shows like walking dead just hundreds of movies and shows you know i fell in love with this gun from die hard when the scene with john mcclain shoots the guy from under the table And you know, ever since then, I always wanted me a Beretta 92, but never really could just afford one because I'm not rich and you know, guns are not cheap and Berettas especially are not that cheap. So yeah, but now I finally got one and man, this grip on this thing is amazing. If you ever held a Beretta 92X RDO, or just the 92X period, you know this grip feels amazing in the hand. I don't think it's going nowhere when you're gripping on this thing. Matter of fact, I know it won't go nowhere. That's how this feels. And I don't think it'll tear up your body when carrying it or nothing like that. It's aggressive, but not overly aggressive. Just enough to get a good grip on this thing where it ain't going nowhere. And this is your Vertec style grip, which give it a 1911 grip angle, give it that flat back, you know, for people with smaller hands, because this gun used to get complaints about that hump being in the back, and a lot of people couldn't get a good reach on the trigger. Well, they fixed that with the Vertex style grip, giving it that flat back, but the extra grip panel 
that's in the uh, the box. It gives it that traditional 92, you know, grip angle if you want, if you like that. But I like this 1911 style grip angle. It points very natural with this grip angle. And then we got a textured mag release. And it's extended, but not too far. That what I think you will accidentally, you know, uh, hit it and release your magazine. And I don't think it's too far out where that will happen, but it is right there and you can reach it fairly easy. And it does shoot those magazines right out. Got a rounded off trigger guard, which is traditional on some of the older Berettas, but like the uh, M9A1 and some of the newer Berettas have like the squared off trigger guard. And uh, I kind of like the squared off trigger guard better, but nothing wrong with this round trigger guard. We got a nice size uh, slide release, good and easy to get to. Yeah, very good and easy to get to. Release that slide, not stiff at all. Got your takedown lever, a three slot, Picatinny rail, nice beefy Picatinny rail. Got your safety slash decocker. This is the FS model. I wish it was the G model, but I couldn't get the G model. So I had to settle for the, F, the FS model. I mean, it's okay, it's all good, but I do prefer that G model. And when the hammer is back like this, all you do is wipe that down and it decocks the pistol and the gun is on safe once that happens. So you gotta flick that safety back off. And once it's decocked, you got that long, heavy trigger pull. And you got a nice textured hammer with a, you know, a little small skeletonized hole. Wish the hole was a little bigger. Wish you had a full skeletonized hammer, but it's all good. Got your combat style sights and they are dovetailed in so you can change them, swap them out, whatever you want to do. And I do like this sight picture because it's blacked out in the rear with the high vis red front sight, which is nice. I prefer that sight picture. I do that to my white dot guns. I go ahead and black out the rear and, and paint the front red because I do prefer that. And you got the open top slide, traditional for your Berettas. And this is a full size. It has a 4.7 inch barrel. So not your ideal carry gun. I mean, some people can pull it off, but if you do, I would carry this outside the waistband, you know, with a good garment to cover it, and I think you will be okay. But it is a fairly long gun, as you can see. And it has some good weight to it, around 33 ounces. I think it is 33 ounces, so it'll probably be even more when it's loaded, but a hey, good weight like that helps with shooting. So I don't think you'll have much recoil with this gun considering how long and heavy it is. And I can't wait to get this to the range. I have not shot it yet. I only have it like two days. So gotta go ahead and get it out to the range. But yeah, Beretta 92X. And they are made in the US now. Well, a lot of them are made in the US which is not a big deal. But yeah, I think they made in Gatlin, Tennessee. Yeah, Gatlin, Tennessee. So take what you want from that. A lot of people like the American made stuff, but for a Beretta, I want an Italian made Beretta. It's just nostalgic if you ask me. But yeah, Beretta 92X and this trigger is amazing for a double action, single action pistol. You got your short, reset trigger and right now it's in double action and the double action is actually not that heavy i don't have a trigger gauge but just by the feel of it it's not that heavy got no play starting out with the double action easy pull through it's just real light for a double action trigger and for the single action Single action, a little take up there. You on that wall. Very, very, very light break. This is the reset. Check this out. This is the short reset trigger. Right there. 
oh my God, that's just like barely out there. I mean, barely out there. You can get fast shots with this gun. Show y'all that again, man. Just in case y'all just didn't see that. That's just how short this is because it's hard to see that reset. Right there. Not too audible or tactile, but it, man, is it short. And that is a good thing. And back into that light single action break. So awesome, awesome trigger on this gun. Probably the best trigger I got on my double action, single action guns. Cause I do own another double action, single action, which is the Gerson MC-18. And man, this trigger right here beats that trigger. And that gun has a real decent trigger, but this right here takes the cake on that. And man, this thing points so natural, man. I, I really do love it. Can't wait to get it to the range. I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed. We're gonna get that Beretta reliability. And if you know anything about Berettas, they probably one of the most, if not the most reliable handgun in history. So hey, that says a lot in my opinion. But if you ask some people who use this gun in the military, they'll tell you otherwise because those guns had so many rounds put through them and they pretty beat up and they get exchanged from hand to hand and people get them with a lot of rounds through them and they all beat up, but they still run. So a lot of people have negative experience with the Beretta who was in the army, but that don't affect the civilian market in my opinion because everybody I know who owns a Beretta they just love them. Say they shoot real well, shoot real flat, very, very accurate. They just good guns, man. And if you want a Beretta 92, I don't think you would go wrong. This is a piece of history. It just feels quality. In your hand. You can feel the quality of this gun in your hand. Unlike, I mean, hammer fire guns, I think, are better quality than then your polymer striker fire gun. So that's saying a whole lot. But this right here, man, this is high quality right here. And this 92X, the reason why they call it the X, I think is because it take all the features from every model of the Beretta that people like and adds it all into one. So if you were to pick up a Beretta, I would go straight to this model. It's around... 700 to $750. I paid a little over seven after tax, which is not bad. I would go straight for this one if I were to pick up a 92. And they do make a 92X performance, which has the full skeletonized trigger and the, I mean, not trigger, but a hammer and the, uh, and the uh, performance trigger. That's real, real light. I think that trigger is like a pound and a half. Probably one of the best triggers you can get on the market. On the market, and they promote that gun as they uh performance competition gun. But this probably the closest thing to it, other than the M9A1. But this has all the features of the M9A1. Probably besides the lanyard loop and the threaded barrel. But if you don't want those two things, I would go straight for this because the M9A1 is probably around $200 more than this gun. So I would go straight for this model if I was getting into a Beretta 92. And I will be throwing the light under here. I did purchase a light, and that is this Olight PL3 Valkyrie. This is a pretty nice light, if I say so myself. And I will let y'all see how this gun looks with this light on here. Pretty good light, very, very bright light. I got it set to low right now because I have been playing around with this. But show y'all how this gun looks with this light on it. I can't show y'all me putting the light on, so. I'll be right back. Okay, now we got the Olight PL3 Valkyrie on here. And man, I think she looks good. I think I got a winner winner chicken dinner with this light. Turn it on the high setting so y'all can check that out when it comes to this light. Oh, 
There we go. It's pretty bright in here, so can't see the light that well. But trust me, this is a bright light. You got a high setting, which is 1200 lumens, and you got a low setting, which I think is around 300 lumens. Then you got your strobe. So yeah, pretty decent light, and it looks really, really good under this 92X. Don't lie to me. Tell me that look good. If this looks good on this 92X, drop a comment saying looks good. Well, I think I got a winner with that. Well, it's my Beretta 92X RDO unboxing slash review. Like I said, if you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe, hit the thumbs up. I try to post content just like this on the weekly, upload shorts on the daily. Stay tuned, turn on them post notifications. And this is Mr. I Like Guns, and I'm out.